here, we do this all the time with all the horses that come. But people have asked us, you know, in more detail. So we've got these great big lorries coming. You've seen from his view what he can see. There's no brake, well, there's brakes on the vehicle. We're not using the brakes. And, you know, there's the range drop them on the thing. They ain't gonna move. There's my hands, he'll stand there, there's the brakes. You can see the all standing there, he won't move. Now, that's training. And it takes, you know, a long time. People can say, well, that's irresponsible to do that. It's only that, you know, we, I suppose, I'm confident in what I do when I train horses, train properly. As long as when it's taken home, you know, the same level is kept up. I'm not saying go and stand on the motorway bridge, but, you know, this is his confidence. It's not my confidence. So when all shall stand on the bridge like this, and he's, he's confident in himself, he's happy, he's not worried about anything at all, you know, and that's what we're looking for, isn't it? Obviously, safe, confident, and happy in any sphere of harness work. That's basically what we do. So what I'm trying to say to you, it's his confidence. He doesn't need someone standing by his head to give him confidence. He's got his own confidence. You could say, um, I mean, look at this for instance, coming past him now. That's just been down to the, you know, where they unload the timber. Um, and he's not moving, is he? He's not backing up, he's not looking around at that big lorry, so he's got this in front of him and a massive great arctic behind him coming past. Um, and he doesn't do a thing. And he's in a soft rubber bit. So that's training, it takes a long time, but then that's what makes him, you know, that's, I suppose that's why we have a bit of a waiting list, because the way we do it, you know, this, this is, this horse will go home now and be 100% for, as long as the people keep him up, driving regularly, um, that's all that's really needed. It's quite noisy up here actually, to, you know, um, to hear yourself talking, you know, but it's nice to see this big lorry coming behind here, look another one, but he don't murmur or move. It's the same for all of them. It takes, you know, longer with others than it, you know, it does with another. This one took quite a time, actually. But you can only go as fast as they can go. But in the, you can't have a program for every horse, but you set a program up for the individuals. And this has done this really in the last two, three weeks of training. But we've had others that have done it in the first two or three weeks of training. So, you know, it varies. But he's happy and he's confident and that's all that matters at the end of the day. That's what we owe him, to be happy doing what we asked him to do. So we go home now and have a cup of tea and he'll have his supper. <laughs> Come back mate. Come back mate. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Good boy. Come round to it. Come round darling. Come round baby. Good boy. Trot on. The other thing after all of that, you know, the horse comes back happy. Look, he's just keeping his side of the road, the slack reins. If I asked him to stop, an emergency stop, well, back. You see him skid on the road to stop for me. I'm staying quietly once he's done so. Walk, baby. If you look behind us, you see the scratches on the road. So, and it's not, you know, we're not we're just ordinary folk that do this and this job. And I suppose you've got to love the job, obviously. But this is a, what I'm trying to get over to you. Every horse is an individual. So with this fella, in the latter part of his training, the second half of his training, if you like, we could do that. You couldn't have done that to start off. He, just, he wouldn't be happy. 
And if he's not happy, he's not going to learn. And he's certainly not going to take any... Um, he's not going to, like, make himself confident. He's got to be self-confident, not confidence in me, because what most people would do would be go up there, stand by his head. This is the thing, point I want to make. It would be, most of them would stand by his head and hold him there, um, you know, and talk to him and fuss him and all that. No, he's got to step up onto that step, that pavement area. He's got to walk to, to the fence look down at the traffic because he's confident enough in himself to do so he needs no and he has never ever been led up first never ever do we lead him up first well, with anything in the arena or any, any of the things we do we don't lead them up first we let them build their own confidence then what you have to do which I'll make another film of which once they've got that confidence now They've got to listen to you, and what they what a horse is. I, I'm sorry, it's not demeaning the horse at all, but the horse is the motive power. It's the strength. It's the engine to take this vehicle along, right? So and that seems almost, you know, because you just see how, how good this horse is. How clever you could say in some ways, I suppose. But that's not the point. So when you've got all that confidence in him, and so you mustn't let him, you've got to conjole him and kid him to say, no, I'll make the decisions and you do what I ask you to do. And you'll never do that with hurting a horse, you know, smacking it or bullying it or in, in any way. you never get it. I guarantee you never get it. It will backfire on you one day. But be able to take horse... Um, right up to the barrier like that and he'd stand there and then turn away and then skid him to a stop Yeah, and he's obviously not affected by it at all he's not rushing away from it we don't hold him now I drop the reins I drop the reins I've got no reins in my hand and no brake on and the horse is just standing there so if he's standing there because he's got the confidence to stand there so yeah and they all, they all of them do it. It's just that so many people have asked us about the bridge, however do you get them to do it? Well, that's how we get them to do it, is by letting them build their own confidence. Not my confidence, not me putting them on a lead rope and taking them through the bits and pieces in the arena or doing anything like that. Stay behind them, that's where you're going to be. And he's got to have confidence in you that you will not put him in a position where he hurts himself or he's in trouble, yeah? All right, you know, I mean, you can, sometimes anybody can make a mistake, but what I mean is basically, you're, you're, you're trying your hardest to get his confidence, he's confident to do whatever we want him to do. And what we ask him and conjole him, Never tell him or bully him into what you want to do. Just kid him along. If I asked him now, trot boy. He'd come up like that. Trot on. See him go to work, look. We slack rain going past this vehicle. All right, my baby, that'll do. That'll do, steady. And wherever I choose to put him, he would go for you. You know, um, he'd do anything because he's got his own confidence. So if I want to drive him, I can't get up this bank because it's too high um, in this particular vehicle. In another vehicle we could, one with independent suspension and, you know, air suspension and independent suspension. We'd climb that bank and I'd show you, he'd go right through them trees and come back out on the road. Could do anything with, with him when they're done, all of them really. But we do so if you want to go and work him in a field or you know pull some timber out there's nothing that's going to surprise him is there because he's seen it all like this van coming round there too fast really on a country lane but there you go he don't care does he he just goes on so as long as you look at him as a motive power and all that lovely knowledge you put in and the self-confidence that you've put into him yeah 
that you can manage that because trouble is <laughs> if they get too self-confident they'll come to a junction um, and all our horses would be like it if we allowed them to be like it so they all get enough confidence to come to a junction listen for the traffic they even have a look see if anything's coming and they'll step out well that's no good is it you don't do that in your motor car do you you, you pull up at a junction apply the brake look to see if it's clear and then you go forward you can't let him make them decisions you <laughs> they could have one coming from around the corner up the inside or anywhere so but when you asked him go on my lad you can go on like that he'll go straight on um under any circumstances i mean for the other day for instance we, we couldn't film it because it was all over in a second you know um and we did have a camera that sat up here and filmed constantly all the time but it took so long so many hours to go through and find this particular incident or something like that you want to find but we're coming along like that we're just coming to the bridge not far from us where the, you see the pub down below on the river there where people sit outside and um, there's a fire engine coming the other way flat out that's coming and they, you only just see us come around the bend well horse never moved lose his foot, the man hit the brakes, turned his sirens off, but the horse didn't mind, you know, he was, he could cope with it. Now, he'd never heard sirens before, but because he's got so much confidence in himself, he go, oh, that's all right, and he listened to me, you know, I said, steady, mate, just steady, like that, give it to you, the fire engine, plenty of room, the fire engine went on like that, lovely. Um, so, yeah, basically, what I'm trying to show you is, it's not the confidence he's got in me he's got to have confidence in me not to put him in the wrong place but he's got to have his own confidence confident enough to do anything you ask him to do yeah i just checked him then with that white van because that's the lad that drops off the parcels and we're waiting for one i thought he was gonna say to me he's just dropped it but there you go so safe confident and happy in any sphere of harness work. There's a smile on my face every time I hear that sound. The rhythm of the hoops as they touch the ground. And there's no better place I'd rather be than with my safe, confident